Okay, we're going to be solving equations, linear equations in particular. And this one is 4x, let me change pen, 4x minus 10 minus 10x equals 2 plus 6x minus 12. And first we're going to look to collect like terms on each side of the equal sign. On the left side, we have like terms of x's here and here. So we're going to combine the 4x and the negative 10x. And same signs add different signs subtract. So different signs subtract. So we're going to get 6x. And the bigger sign is 10. So it's negative. Or the bigger, so that's being negative. And then we'll bring down the 10, negative 10 here. So we just combine these two here. On the other side of the equal sign, we have like terms of 2 and negative 12. Those two can be combined. So those are different signs, so they're going to subtract. So 2 from 12 leaves 10. The bigger sign is negative, so this is a negative 10. And then plus 6x. Okay, from here. Um, we have x's on both sides now. We have a negative 6x and the positive 6x. The weaker of the two will be the one on the left side, the negative 6x. So we're going to get rid of the weaker one. So how do you get rid of a negative 6x or subtracting 6x? You put a adding 6x. And when we do the one side of the equation, we're going to do the other. So we're going to put another positive 6x on the other side. So what we'll get, the combination of these two makes zero, so we'll make that a zero. The negative 10 is going to come down. The equals will come down. This negative 10 will come down. And these two, same signs add, so we're going to get 12x. Okay. So now this is a right side problem because the x now is on the right side, and we need to get rid of the subtracting 10 and the multiplying 12. So first, Getting rid of the subtracting 10, we're going to use adding 10 right here, and that'll make that zero. Now what we do on one side equal sign, we have to do also on the other, so there's another adding 10 there. These two make a zero, but we're going to put the zero here, equals, this is a zero, we'll make that zero there, and this will come down as a 12x. So now we have zero equals 12x. This is a multiplying 12, so I'm going to use a dividing 12 to get rid of it. Whatever I do on one side, I'll do on the other. Here's another dividing 12. 0 divided by 12 is 0. Equals comes down. And 12 divided by 12 is 1 and x. 1x. So x equals 0. Number 2. Number 2, we have 8 minus 4x minus 12 equals negative 6x plus 14 minus 4x. The like terms on the left side will be the 8 and the negative 12. We'll combine those. These are different signs, so they'll subtract. So we'll get 4. And because the bigger sign is negative, when we get a 12, this will be a negative 4. And then we bring down the negative 4x. The equals. On the right side, we can combine the x's here. There's a negative 6x and a negative 4x. When we combine those, same signs add. So we'll get a 10x. The bigger sign wins, which would be negative from the 6. So there. So it'll be negative 10x. Then we'll bring down the 14. Now, we have x's on the left side and right side. The weaker of the two x's is actually the negative 10x. They're much further down the left side than negative 4. So we want to get rid of the negative 10x. The way that we get rid of that is by adding a 10x. And that'll turn into a 0. But what do we do on one side? We do it to the other. So we put a positive 10x there. Now let's start combining. The negative 4 comes down. Negative 4. These two combine by subtraction because they're different signs. So the different signs subtract. So that's going to become a 6x. And the bigger sign wins, which is the 10, which says we have plus 6x equals comes down, this becomes a 0, and then the 14 comes down. Now, this is a left side problem, we have to get rid of the negative 4 and the multiplying 6. So first, 
we'll get rid of the um, negative 4 of the subtracting 4 by using an adding 4. And what we do to one side, we do to the other. So we're adding 4 there. These two become 0. The 6x comes down. The equals comes down. And these are same signs. So same signs are going to add. We're going to get 18. So what we have now is 6 times x equals 18. We're going to divide both sides by 6. Here, and then this side by 6. This will become 1x. And 6, sorry, 18 can be divided by 6, and we'll get 3. So x equals 3. Next, we have negative 2 minus 28 plus 4x equals 14 plus 4x minus 8x. Okay. First, I'm going to look for common, um, sorry, say um, common terms. So the 2 and the 28 are common terms, so we can put those together. Same signs do add, so 2 and 28 is going to add up to a 30. And the bigger sign wins, so that's 28, so this is going to be a negative 30. Plus 4x equals. Now, uh, we have um, common terms here, the 4x and the 8x, negative 8x, should I say. And when I combine those, that'll be um, different signs going to subtract, so it's going to be 4x. And the bigger sign wins, which is the 8, so it's going to be a negative 4x. Then we bring down the positive 14. Now we have um, x's on both sides, left and right. Um, we have 4x here, negative 4x here. The weaker of the two will be the right side. So the negative 4x is the one that we want to get rid of. So we're going to put a... Um, pen is not working. We're going to put a plus 4x there. And what we do to one side, we'll do to the other. So another plus 4x there. So what we have is the negative 30 comes down. These two become 8x. Same signs add. The bigger sign wins. Equals. This becomes a 0. And this becomes a 14. Or this comes down as a 14. Now, this is a left side problem. We need to get rid of the negative 30 and the 8. So, first, the negative 30. So, we're going to add 30 to both sides. So, plus 30 and then plus 30. These two become 0. This comes down as an 8x. Equals comes down. And these two are positive, so same signs will add. So, we'll get a 44. Okay, now, we have 8 multiplied with x equals 44. I'm going to get rid of the 8 by dividing by 8. Now, 8 divided by 8 is 1x. 44 cannot be divided evenly by 8. So what we'll do is instead is simplify. We'll divide this by 4 and divide the 8 also by 4. So we'll get is 11 over 2. And that's our simplified fraction. Next, number 4 is going to be 18 minus 4x minus 22 equals 6x plus 14 minus 4x. Okay, we can combine the 18 and the negative 22 here. They're same signs add, these are different signs, so they'll subtract. So what we'll get is a um, 4. The bigger sign wins, which is from the 22, which is a negative 4. And then negative 4x equals. We can combine the 6x here and the negative 4x here. Same signs add, but different signs subtract, so this will be a 2x. The bigger sign wins from the 6, so this will be a positive 2x. Now we'll bring down the plus 14. Okay, now, we have x's on the left side and right side. The weaker of the two x's is the negative 4x. 
positive 2x is a little is bigger than a negative 4x. So the negative 4x is what has to go. So I'm going to put a plus 4x to get rid of it. Then what we do to one side, you do to the other. So we put another 4x here, adding 4x. So the negative 4 comes down. These two become 0. B equals. These two same signs add, so this will be a 6x. And then we'll bring down the plus 14. This is now a right side problem, so we'll have to get rid of the negative, sorry, the positive 14 and the multiplying 6. To get rid of the um, adding 14, we're going to do a subtracting 14. And what do we do to one side? We do it to the other. So there's another one there. These two combine, same signs add, so we'll get 18. Bigger sign wins from the 14, so this is negative 18. Equal sign comes down. The 6x comes down, and these two become 0. All right, so now we have negative 18 equals 6x. We're going to divide everything, I'm oh, sorry, this side by 6. And we'll do the one side, you do it to the other. We'll divide this by 6 as well. Negative 18 divided by 6 divides evenly, and that becomes a negative 3. Because a negative divided by positive is negative. 6 divided by 6 is 1, and there's x. So x equals negative 3.